We have one mind, but we need to differentiate between its two aspects, essence and expression. Understand this example of their relationship. The essence is like the sun shining in the sky. The expression is like its reflection on the surface of the water. The sun in the sky is the real sun. The reflection of the sun appearing on the surface of the water looks like the sun, but it is not the real sun. Let's call the sun in the Buddha nature sky, the unequivocal and unlucky quality, the essence in itself. The reflection of the sun on the surface of water exemplifies our common deluded thinking, the expression. Without the sun in heaven, it is impossible to appear a reflection of IT. Although there is really only one sun, it, it seems that there are two. It is an identity with two aspects. So, know your essence. The state of a Buddha is not confusing and not deluded. Just as the sun shining in the sky, the mental state of sentient beings is like the reflection in water. Could the reflection of the sun in water illuminate the world? Could things grow things? No, because he doesn't have the qualities of the real sun. Similarly, the aspect of mind known as expression, our thinking, does not have the qualities of the true buddhic state. Just as reflex depends on water, our thoughts depend on objects. The object is what is thought. The subject is the mind he perceives. The fixation on the subject and object, the subject he perceives and the perceived object, is solidified again and again every moment and thus recreates the sanseric existence. The fixation in subject and object is the cause of continuity in the deluded sanseric existence, day and night, life after life. To say simply, Buddha's mind is unobscreted. What is the obscuration? It is our own recurring fixation in subject and object. Behind the temporary obscuality is the nature of Buddha. The fundamental base is our Buddha nature. The Dhammakaya of all the Buddhas that is present in all sentient beings. It is compared to pure gold without dirt, endowed with supreme qualities and free with any defects. Due to the ignorance of not knowing their own nature, the sentient beings were lost in the confusion. Since pure gold that has fallen into the mud is temporarily dirty, Buddhas are not asked for the confusion. Instead, they retain their natural seat. The difference between Buddhas and sentences is the difference between knowing and unaware of our innate nature. All sentient beings are Buddhas, but due to temporary obscure, they do not realize it. Buddhaity, the state of all awakened beings, means not getting lost within the confusion. Instead, it means recognizing the state of the base as being pure gold. Recognize the essence of the mind. But do not think that the nature of the mind is extraordinary. This understanding requires no effort. We just need to recognize this naturally empty state without strings and completely free. The basic space is the absence of mental constructions. While consciousness is the knowledge of this absence of constructions, recognizing the complete void of the essence of the mind, space and consciousness are inherently indivisible. If we think of emptiness, it will become our meditation. Recognizing the Buddha nature that is present in us is called vision. Sustaining continuity of vision correctly is called meditation. Merging meditation with daily activities and acting according to Dharma is the correct action. Consummate the buddhic state as being totally free of obscure, such as the sun that shines in the sky with its unchanging radiation. It is called fruit. We need to recognize the vision. We need to recognize our Buddha nature. There is no other way to achieve enlightenment but recognizing the Buddha nature and reaching the stability in IT. The Buddhas of the past have done this, and current practitioners, which will be the Buddhas of the future, will do that. Recognizing its own nature and reaching stability in it, there is no other way, and no one else can perform the lighting for US. It depends totally on ourselves. So, said Shakyamuni Buddha, no one saves us but ourselves. No one can, and no one should. We must go the way ourselves.